Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. I hope you're well and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Michella. So I just got back from our very amazing and relaxing and so much fun holiday from Dubai. And if you haven't seen that vlog yet, I will link it up here and in the description box so you can find it and have a look at everything that we did there. But I just really thought this video might be very helpful to all of you fellow moms out there or parents that um, will be going on holiday with a toddler or with their kids very soon. I have one toddler. He's three year old right now. He's my first child. So everything that we're doing with him is new to us. And I'm just learning like along the way. I'm learning things that are working, learning things that are not working. If you're new here, just wanted to mention and um, kindly ask you to consider subscribing to my channel since um, it's just a really fun place to be and my channel's all about just sharing happiness. Let's get started and I'm gonna share all of these things with you. So everything that I'm showing you right here, obviously I will put them in the description box with a link so you can find them easily. And if I cannot find the exact same one, cause some things I did purchase in store and I'll try to find a very similar one um, so you can still shop something that looks like it. Okay, the very first one, which was such a good item to have in the airplane is this little guy. This inflatable, they actually, I think the official name is an inflatable airplane bed. Although I do have to explain a little bit with that because it's not an entire bed. But with this item, you can actually create a little bit of an airplane bed. What it does, okay, so you pump it up and you place it where usually your feet would go, your legs would go in between your chair or your kid's chair and the chair in front of it. Um, and so what you kind of do is you extend the seating area where your child is sitting, which then makes it easier for your kid to have a little nap. We actually flew to Dubai on a night flight. We went up the, in the air at 10 p.m. and we arrived in the morning at 6 a.m. So we were actually like, we had a night flight. <laughs> Not just an evening flight, but a night flight. This product is actually approved by the KLM airline. Um, and I know a lot of other airlines have now already um, like approved it also to use it on their flight. Another thing that is essential when I'm traveling with my child has become this item. It is their own headphone. Let me tell you there's a difference between this and just a regular headphone because this is actually one that is designed for kids. And what is very good about a like special kids designed headphone is that there is a limit to the volume it is a lot more safe and they're foldable as well it is a lot more safe for their ears um because the noise they actually can't turn it up that high where it can damage their ears um easily like it would with normal headphones so i especially bought these because i just thought you know what if he accidentally or on purpose would put the volume up then i know for sure it won't get that loud because there's a maximum limit on theirs. Now, let me tell you about this next item. This is the first time I've used this item on travel with my child and I cannot go back anymore. <laughs> it has been the best find for this trip. It is quite long. I can't show you the whole thing. So this is an organizer that has hooks. It actually comes with hooks. You can put it through here and then put it on on a door like on the top of the door so it's like a door organizer and it has all these pockets so these has quite a few let me see there's four in a row and there's six of them so it has 24 um pockets that you can put something in there what i liked to do is organize his sets like his clothing sets before we left the house um uh, here before we went to Dubai. And um, I would put all of his clothing sets in one of these 
organizing um, spots. Whenever we would need a set of clothing or like after the pool, my husband would change him in a fresh set of clothing and we would go out, then he could just pick one out of here and it would just be a set. It was just so easy. Like I didn't have to think about clothing or anything. And also filling it up when I started to organize at home in the suitcase, um, it was very easy for me to know how many sets I had and how many sets I still had to like, you know, put in there and then fold it up um, and then put this whole thing in the suitcase. Now, the next tip I wanna share actually applies for a lot of times during our vacation. So um, during our plane ride, um, but even like being in the restaurant um, in, in Dubai or anywhere where we would just sit or we would just have to wait or like, you know, we would have a meal and um, he would be obviously with us the entire vacation. So I made sure I brought enough things on vacation that would be able to, to like, um, entertain him or just keep him busy or something like that. So let me just show you a few that worked really well um, for our trip this time. So these actually I got from a baby department so you can use them for a younger age which actually would be a great idea. So these I wrapped up for him and then um, he opened up in the airplane so um, he put these on the windows and then he would just twist them around and he would stare at them like for such a long time. And I think these were only like two euros and they were such an easy toy for him to just have, you know, like have something to do. Another one that works really well are just really like drawing books. But for him, honestly, the things that worked the best were the ones that had stickers in there. So for instance, this book. Um, there's a lot of drawing options and stuff, but then at the back, there's a lot of stickers as well. So it was kind of like a combination of that. Now this little one we got at the airport and it was very fun for him to play with for a little while. Um, but you can obviously buy this one also, um, just to be prepared. So this is one of those little like drawing things. Gosh, I'm so not good at it. But anyways, um... So then he would be able to see something. I don't know if you can see it on camera, actually. Then he would be able to draw something and then wipe it out and then, you know, start all over again. So he would make us draw something and then he would erase it and then he would be like cracking up. It was just funny. A few other ones are like small games. So this is actually like a card game from Paw Patrol. And this is like a mini version of four in a row. Um, which was so fun like these obviously this is not for little kids because they're very small parts but we took this like inside the restaurants also and then we would have something to do before the food would get there and obviously games like this is also very nice because they usually um, you know like really stimulate also that they would learn some things this is actually what he loved the most um, when we would go to a restaurant this um, these little kind of cases, suitcases. So this is actually one of my favorites. It's a Lego suitcase. Let me open it up for you so you can see. But this was really nice because it actually made him like start building and um, was really good for his creativity. So it has a little book that has some design ideas in there that you could build with him. And then it actually has you know, things in there like this one. I don't know if it's still intact. Like this one is a um, elephant that he built, obviously together with us, but still he loved it. Or a little fire truck. I bought this as a complete set. So it was like this when I bought it. Um, I do see there's a few toys in here that are not supposed to be in here. So the Lego one I really recommend and I feel like Lego always does well like at any age. So you can probably use it for a very long time. And then this one we found in a local store, but I'll try and find something similar. This was just a little um, suitcase that just had a bunch of little cars in there and he would take this to the restaurants and then just you know take everything out um, and play with it until our food would arrive. I still have a lot more of like toys like this 
also that we brought along so I'll try and link a few more ideas in the description box. One more thing that you do definitely want to take along when um, you're giving your kids some more screen time during the vacation is a power bank. It's very important if you're letting your child watch on a an iPad, which is obviously a bigger um, item than a phone, you need a correct power bank that would actually be strong enough to charge that. So um, I will link one that I have um, that actually does charge an iPad if you would need to, because they just need so much more power because it's a bigger um, a bigger item. We kind of always have have one in our own like bag just because we'd never want our phones to run out of power if we're in another country. I mean, obviously, you, I don't know, you just kind of, you always want to be able to like call somebody or, or the hotel or a taxi or, or anything if you would need to. So we always carry a little one um, when we're on holiday just to have that security that we always have power. Okay, let's move on to the pool. The pool life, the family pool life, going to the water and just, you know, all you want to do as a parent is really just relax and maybe read a book. But let's be honest, you're a parent now. <laughs> you are no, probably not really going to relax by the pool. <laughs> you're probably either going to play the whole time or just like having to look at the pool just to be sure your kid is safe. When you go to a hotel, it is pretty good to check beforehand if you're allowed to bring inflatables into the pool. This hotel did um, allow us to have some inflatables. So it was really nice. And what I got at home is this teeny tiny um, air pump. It is an electric air pump. So can you believe it? It's so tiny. So this is an air pump. Then this is a little hook. If you want to, you can click it on a bag or something like that. And this is a night light. So this is actually a lamp that you can use if you would have a, like ever need a light or a lamp somewhere. And then this one actually comes with a few different sizes of like, um, like toppings or I don't know what you call these, but that you can actually fit on multiple things to, to blow up. This is the tiniest air pump I have ever seen in my life and it worked and it was so handy to have. We did bring an inflatable like kitty boat um, on our vacation and we blew up the whole boat with this thing. Um, and I, I don't know if I would have done that if I would have had to blow it up myself. Also, one thing that I wanted to recommend that we did not use, but I was really hesitant if I was going to get it, um, is an inflatable kid size bed for in the hotel room. We actually were able to just have a full size single bed for our son in the room with us, which was nice. So the hotel took care of all of that. So obviously that is really nice. But if you're going to a hotel and you're not sure what type of like kids bed they have or if they have enough beds or if, if your kid is eventually going to have to sleep like in between you guys, like I would not be able to do that. I would be so tired like even after one night. I do recommend that if you're not sure either to call the hotel first or whatever. And then if you really need to get yourself an inflatable like toddler beds, um, they're not that expensive actually. And then you just bring this little inflatable machine and then like your child can just sleep in their own area, on their own beds. Um, I think for everybody, that would be the best night rest. So at the pool, you want your kids obviously to have fun. So before we went on vacation, I made sure to buy enough, actually this is, really not all of it. I have maybe <laughs> three times this much toys for the pool that I took along. Um, but what is nice about things like these, these are actually designed for the pool 
and like some of them they sink to the bottom then your kid can kind of like search for them um, or you can like create some sort of like a play thing together where your kid throws it and then you um, you know like swim to the bottom and pick it up and then do always remember to think of safety first so even with your child's when you think you're always around, you're, you think you're always going to see everything, just make sure to still bring something that, you know, these are these little floaties for their arms. These still kind of kept him up on the arms. Um, but also you can obviously get a lot of different styles. If you have younger kids, you can put them in a whole vest. So I bought my son special water shoes for um, the pool. And um, I was happy that we did because it was so hot out. It was, I mean, honestly, the sun in Dubai is extremely hot. All of these stone floors were just like, you could not walk on them. I could not walk on them. Like I cannot imagine a child walking on them. He was able to actually just wear these in the water and then like be on the side. Like it was just so easy. We, he walked on these from the hotel room also to the pool so we didn't have to switch shoes or slippers or anything and he would just be able to get into the water with these and um you know always feel safe these also have this like rubber underneath um so you, you know he doesn't slip even though the floor might be wet so of course very important for your holiday is sunscreen protection i don't think we always really are aware of it as much as we should be. I've always found it such a thing to carry that whole big bottle with you just in case you need more sunscreen. So I would recommend always to have a little travel sunscreen size in your bag, even when you go to the mall or anything else. Like if you're going sightseeing, definitely, because sometimes we just forget, like we, completely cover ourselves up when we go to the pool we have all this cream on and then when we're done swimming we think we don't need it anymore but obviously when you go out and you're still outside for a longer time um you do really have to put some more sunscreen on again so i would suggest a little travel size is very nice just to bring in your little bag and another important thing that at least my child definitely needs is something for uh, mosquitoes or bugs keep an eye out for the ones that are actually intended to use for small kids or young kids and also a cream that would calm the skin down if your child actually gets stung by uh, by something i hope all of these items were helpful for you guys um I kind of feel like I went through them very quickly and just told you a bunch of stuff about it, but um, somehow, you know, it's just the experience that we've had with all of this and hopefully it's just helpful for you to know how we use things and um, what worked and what didn't work. So um, if I forgot anything or you're still interested in anything, let me know also in the comments so um, I can answer you guys. And if you are traveling or going to on holiday very soon, then I hope you have a wonderful time and make sure to be safe. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!